What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's going on? Guys, today we're going to be looking at the new promo images for Season 7 of Game of Thrones. There's a lot of them, so let's jump right into them. Absolutely. All right, well, our first image is of John Fellers. What do we think? He's uh, apparently in the crypts. Don't we agree on that? Oh, yeah, he's he's talk- obviously in the crypts. We're in that fabulous fur coat. Now, what is the reason he is in the crypts now? Is it because he possibly got um, some info about his parentage? Yes. That or he's commissioning a, a statue for Ned and Rob for the crypt. Now, is this the crypt underneath Winterfell? Or- yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Or he could be visiting Ned's grave. I believe Ned already has a statue made. They, uh, they, yeah, they brought him down there already. Yeah, so he yeah. could be down there honoring his father and inadvertently not knowing that his mother is right next to him. Yeah. Definitely an interesting image, though. I love the look of the fur that John's wearing this year. Yeah, well, they all. It all seems like everybody. It all seems like everybody has some really cool, uh, cool new uh, uniforms and wardrobes, if you will. Yes. So moving on. Oh. Uh, Dragonstone looks like, uh, aka storm's end now could this be them looking at the castle or what do you guys think about that i mean uh, i think they're an audience of someone no looks like they're like it could be that's what that was my second little thing either they're looking at at the castle of dragonstone or or maybe they're potentially meeting somebody someone possibly like john they could be meeting john that's for sure i mean we do know from previous leaks that we see john and daenerys meet I think, though, that she's just standing there staring at her home. Yeah, it looks like she has a little smirk to her, too. Perhaps. Even Varys, they have, like, a little... Perhaps, perhaps. That is something, you know? This could be something... You guys could be correct in this. They're, they're definitely yeah, in Westeros. Oh, now. definitely. Yeah, Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Although, those are... The Grey Worms guys, the um, Unsullied, they got new uniforms and helmets and shit. A little bit, yeah. That's not their normal. That's not their normal gear. Look at look what he's wearing. He's never worn flared gun, gloves like that, or had a uh, diamond pattern, or had yeah, or had sleeves. No, no, they did not. They all do. Look at um, winter is Sandry, coming. too. Yeah, it's colder. Winter is coming for sure. Oh, this is their this is their winter wardrobe. Yeah, winter. everybody yeah, seems that. Yeah, everybody has different winter uh, oh, yeah. different winter wardrobe. The hound. <laughs> the hound is definitely somewhere traveling north. I would. I would say by the snowfall, even though winter is uh, is heading, uh, winter's yeah, winter came. winter has come, but it's still not snowing yet. I'm assuming in um, King's Landing. So, you think he's traveling with the uh, Brothers Without Banners or something like that? That's what it looks like because I cannot see a sigil in sight. So I think that he's with the Brotherhood Without Banners. Also, what happened to his face? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Relax. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to smack you, man. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, not... this is definitely this is definitely that brotherhood man because if you remember last he he ended up he had he um oh man I just remembered that was a great that was yeah, some great he, stuff like, cut he... the guy from uh, pelvis what? up and, yeah moving on yeah to Tormund and Tormund's in heat <laughs> I thought he was taller than that bro <laughs> he I'm is serious. tall but she is taller <laughs> well she's a, she's a big chick he wow. towers over like pretty much anybody but Brienne towers over him. Hey, she can head the Winterfell basketball team. Um, yeah, this is this to me is just a great look. Is you know we've seen so many times now of Tormund and his reactions to Brienne, and that's just kind of priceless because uh, you know he wants her so bad. I wonder if uh, do you guys think that they'll potentially get together, or do you think Brienne is just uh, I think not she into has that? A house for Jamie. I think she has a house for Jamie, but I don't. I don't see why she wouldn't. I think. I think she would. I think she. She could. Could maybe, go. Maybe he can. He'll save her in some capacity or something, and maybe. Possibly. You know, he saves her, and then she falls for him or something. She's. She's six three. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. That's a big so, girl. I wasn't too far off six four. Yeah, and obviously they're still in Winterfell because she's there to protect Sansa, and yep. also uh, Tormund is there, so. Definitely. Uh, you can tell that by the arch in the background, too. It looks kind of like we're, uh, we're lo- we lost 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and no wardrobe uh, change for Mr. Dorman. Dorman, would've yeah. Would have been cool to see nice. him in some uh, in some winter winter uh, fell kind of northern clothing, right? You yeah. know, if he survives to the end of this, I'd be surprised if John didn't 
uh, adopt him as a brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Uh, Tormund, by the way, is six foot. All right, so there we wow, go. He's actually shorter than me. Okay. <laughs> by an inch. All right, moving on. Gilly is reading. Sam is the cool thing that I I got from this image. This is probably my favorite image from from the the fifteen that we got. But to me, it's it's um, obviously Sam is doing some kind of research, and it looks like he's copying something from the book. So it looks like he's gathering information. Maybe he's gathering how to make dragon glass. You know how to make some uh, weapons to fight. You know the whites when eventually that that all happens. Yeah. But um, doing some research too with the passage that Gilly's reading, it actually comes from one of the companion novels, uh, the world, the world of ice and fire. And the passage actually people have decoded it, and it speaks of the Azor High prophecy. So to me. Um, you know, that just means that if John is, you know, who we all think he he is, the Azor High, it would be cool for them to have that information. Jesse, why don't you tell uh, the, the, the viewers what the Azor High is? All right, so Azor High is the prince that was promised. He is he who will bring the end to winter, the end of the Night's King, and more or less the realm to peace. Uh, he wields a sword called Lightbringer, which glows with the heat and lust of his slain loved one uh pretty much he is the one that will end this whole thing yeah all right cool. so moving on davos sea otter <laughs> to me it looks like he's ob obviously he's at the head of the stark table and he's yeah. got some cool new wardrobe to it is with his furs and uh, things so is that the stark table or is that yeah that's the yeah. stark table. It looks That's like he not... might be John's right hand man too. If if in fact this could be um after John, you know, leaves Winterfell. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say I absolutely love Davos's character and I, I feel we don't get enough of his character because he is such a really well written character and his actor Liam Cunningham is just perfect for the part. He's gone through a lot to the character like he in the show he's gone through mm -hmm. a range working for people like he's just he's very loyal and but you know he's not I wouldn't say changed sides but he's kind of like moved from one he's master moved from Stannis type. to John yeah, yeah. relatively but well it's, but yeah, he's just yeah, he's just a great character. You're like you yeah. said. Yeah, he was always he was always in good conscience. Even look with with um, Stannis's daughter and how much he cared for her and and what he did, you know, in the end of season six to to ban and banish, you know, Melisandre. So it's just cool to see him, you know, an an, an elder man, you know, uh, someone that could give John, you know, that kind of support, you know, and insight. Yeah, yes. I, I absolutely loved his scene. And it, it really gave me respect when he was talking with the Bank of Bravos for Stannis. Uh, yeah. When he pulls off his glove and he's like, this is the kind of man that Stannis is. And it's just <laughs> like, it's perfect. The guy, the guy, and you can see it here, he's in a very serious mood. And I like that. Yeah, it looks like he's talking to somebody. I guess we'll find out. Or listening to somebody. Yep. Yeah. So. So. Danny. Big picture. She looks like she can be an elf from the Lord of the Rings in this picture. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, she does look a little elfish. Uh, Love she got she, <laughs> she has a cool, a cool she has a cool new like dragon clasp across her chest, and they all have really cool. It's that chain, right? It's this. Yeah, like, chain. you know, and we see the throne behind her, so she's obviously a Dragonstone, right? Uh, definitely a Dragonstone, and I can't tell. Is that Masande back there in the background with her arm in the? It shadow? looks like someone. Yeah, it looks like someone could be standing there, uh, some kind of advice. So maybe she's meeting totally somebody. Totally slender, so I'm saying Miss yeah. Sunday. Yeah, very striking image, though. I, I, I like think the contrast her. of her like yeah, yeah, yeah. pale blonde hair to the dark background of Dragon. Yeah, oh, and it really sticks out. Yeah, she. I mean, maybe she's looking at some kind of artifact, or you know what I mean? She could be looking. Think it's a person. You think it's yeah. a person? Yeah, maybe the maester. She's to some talk. Yeah. Well, hey. no, didn't they burn the maester? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I know in the books, the first maester, the old maester, like decrepit maester, they it, poisoned, or he tried to poison Lissandre, or right. Lissandre, and he got poisoned instead, but yeah. 
Creeper in the background, guys. Creeper. In the oh background. my god, he, I can't <laughs> fucking stand Littlefinger. Right, he just sticks out so much. But you know, this I am sure you guys agree. This is a continuation of where we last uh, saw the King of the North speech. You know, from know. season six. You know, I don't think there's really much to this one, but just a continuation of of what we saw last season. Yeah, yeah, and seeing just Creeper standing in the background there. Yeah, they have to show him, you know? He's he's the fucking manipulator. He is. And Die! Aiden Gillen plays him very well. The Mad S- Queen. <laughs> and Sir Jamie. Jamie doesn't look too pleased. No, I mean, after after last season, he didn't... You know, I'm surprised he's even standing fucking beside her because it really... You know, it really looks like he disagreed with how um, she just took took the queen role and how she did it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So um, I'm kind of surprised by that. But what do you think about that sword, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. you was mentioning it earlier off camera that that is actually uh, Witta's whale. I don't, I don't know. It, it seems fitting that Jamie would carry a piece of ice after, you know, him not really caring for the yeah. Lannisters anymore. Like, he, I, I don't think he cares to be a Lannister. I think he just, he wants to be free of all the madness. Remember what happened, how they forged these swords in the first place. Splitting you know, up ice, from, yeah. Yeah, splitting up ice and making Oathkeeper, which he obviously, Jamie gave to Brienne. Uh, Tywin made this, for, reforged these two swords to give his sons, well, his son and his potential grandson. But it's just cool to have... Uh, a piece of his own children, Jamie, you know, cause that was obviously given to Joffrey and then was given to, um, to Tom. And... I can't help but think of Tom and just jumping out of the window. When I, I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a cool friggin' scene though, man. It's like, cause they just kept a shot of that window. Remember? And then also you see his, you hear his footsteps come closer to he just, fly, yeah, he just flies yeah, he out the crown and down and done. Yeah. Tries yeah, to leap how, of faith and fail. How, how different each of her children were, right? Yeah. Joffrey was the fucking freak and the crazy bastard, and the two, you know, the two. Um, Marcella was. Actually, Marcella, yeah. Like, they were both good kids. Um, not to go off on too much of a tangent, but the prophecy it, that that she got, and she never believed it, although she yeah, kind of did, but she didn't, uh, and she didn't want uh, to, but I think she did. But it's just really interesting how it came to be, you know, like, and we watched it come to be over these past seven seasons, you know, they, yeah. thought that was pretty crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. We'll see who gets her in the end. Do you think Jamie will get her, or do you think maybe Tyrion will get her? I think it, ooh, I actually, I think it'll be Jamie. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it's Jamie just for the irony that she trusts him so much. And I just think, yeah, yeah, but I think she's, yeah, but I think he doesn't care for her anymore i think he's well obviously you think she's a crazy bitch last year ah creeper again there we go creeping creeping little finger this to me obviously we're in winterfell and it looks like uh sansa has some kind of armor kind of there too doesn't she like everybody got really cool wardrobes and in this picture i can see this being when john leaves and and Littlefinger is just ready to fucking just bite her ear off and manipulate and try to connive and scheme. You know what I mean? Because he's just going to be there to pin everybody against each other, I believe. She's easily manipulated, and she's obviously getting manipulated by him again. And she's kind of dumb to do it. So I'm hoping. I don't think don't she's. I don't think be... she's going to. Well, she has been like she was letting him get to her when John was up there you know being proclaimed king of the north and if she lets it continue without you know smacking him down to size i i've i, I don't care for her character if she lets that happen yeah i don't i i kind of agree with chris i don't think she's really really stupid and i, I think she understands completely what kind of person little finger is now though now I think now she, well oh, she oh, always oh, kind of did but I, I don't think she's gonna i think she's gonna play a different role i think she's not gonna listen to him He's going to try and he'll work it. He'll try and work his tongue, but I don't think she's going to listen. I think yeah. she's, she's seen something and she's changed yeah. and she's going to be in a different place, you know? Yep. You know, he, we're off book. Nobody knows what's going to, what's going down anymore. So like, we can't even be like, Oh, well in the book, this like, you know, so, I mean, I think little thing is going to die this season. I hope I he agree. does. But yeah, moving on to another spy master. Varys. Varys. Another cool, uh, yeah, another cool wardrobe. New, new change for Varys. There's even some fur involved around the collar there. Yeah. 
because he's now he's part of now he's not a uh with you know uh Cersei's the um Lannisters or anything now you know he's not and now not that he ever really was but he was though he was part of the court and he's kind of but he's not wearing he's not wearing Targaryen colors though no, but this is darker. It kind of goes, yeah, it kind of goes with the darkness of the, what everybody was wearing. It seems like we've seen a couple of different costumes, you know, uh, wardrobes for Daenerys already. So maybe this can just be something that he's wearing around um, uh, Dragonstone or, yeah. you know what I mean? It looks like he's, he may be standing next to the throne. I can see him standing next to Daenerys while she's sitting on the throne or something. Well, and Well, hold on a second. Can, let me stop for one second because let's let, let me, let's posture this. If you go mm. back to the, don't go back. I'm saying, but if we, if we think about the image that we, the first image we had with him and, and Daenerys and all of them right outside, yeah. he's wearing robes. He's wearing his own, like he's wearing Targaryen looking robes, the dark, the dark grays and, and the, and the green, whatever, and the red. But you go back to this one and th th those are not, those colors these are these are more stark colors and there's fur yeah. targaryens don't have fur they don't use fur in their wardrobe this is more of stark now obviously we can't tell what building he's in there's not we, you really can't figure out what that is that's just it could be I, any I, building in the world. yeah okay i think i still think it's dragonstone it could be it could the, the when we see the group photo that looks like he's wearing the same robes that he was wearing when he was on the boat with her when they were first going across the narrow sea right so i'm i'm assuming that um, this is this is just a change of. I mean, yeah, but I don't. I it, mean, it's gonna unless... be cool, it's gonna be colder, you know. So yeah, everywhere's I, I, colder I was now. gonna say that maybe maybe yeah. yeah I don't know. I, I just I just thought it didn't it didn't look very Targaryen, and you know they're all about their stupid you know colors yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't know. I I like the change of outfit for him though. He's a very elegant character and carries himself as such. Yeah. True. And there we get to see. Uh, Bran finally. Yeah, Bran and Mira. I'm I'm sure we'll all agree that they they arrived at the wall, right? Yeah, they're looking a little too high of an angle to not be looking yeah. at the giant wall. Ex exactly. The the tall task is going to be getting through, and what and what will, will that ensue? You know, does that mean that the magic um, of the wall is broken since Bran was touched by the Night's King, or you know, will the wall come down this season? It's going to be real interesting to see this, and I'm just wondering if it's going to, what kind of a task it's going to be for them to, to make it through. Yeah, I hope to see more Benjen, though. I, I really do. Because if that wall comes down, nothing's keeping Benjen from going back over. But can he? Well, I guess he if can. If the wall but... comes down, Benjen can go over. He can finally meet up with John and tell him about his mother. Yeah, true. All I can tell you from this is that they look like they got they went through a brush and they got some stragglers on there. It's like when I'm driving my mail truck through some no, pile of leaves. Fashion new sleigh, remember? You know, <laughs> I know, but just making a joke, Jess. Yeah, yeah, I, I get the joke. The, the damn joke. <laughs> I, I know we got a lot of political stuff going on, but mm. I think I think damn it, I think we're over your your bullshit, Cersei, and we're over the the, the war of the king. We're over this shit now. We yes, we have it. to deal with John and Daenerys, and 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 that's all I want to focus on. I don't care about anybody else, and I I want this supernatural fantasy element to really come into play. I want I yeah. want the you know the Night King, whatever. I want the Whites. Those need to be prominent in this season. All right, and the and and we need to see more dragons. We need to see more of these fantastical things because enough already all right I, well i think i think you're gonna get that for sure i mean to me those are the to, to, for me those are the best elements that they fucking just love to tease and i'm telling you man i just i need to see them i need to see that stuff it's amazing it's amazing yeah. you want to yeah. see something amazing do you really want to see something amazing <laughs> yes it's the queen of wolves sitting at a table there oh my go. goodness Arya stark yeah, she doesn't. I mean, let, what do you guys think? Do you think she's still in the Riverlands? Is this just after she she killed Walder Frey? I mean, her clothes kind of look tattered. And when we got that first original teaser, like when we did the other video um, months ago, she was wearing a, like a different northern garb. So from that, I'm thinking she's still relatively close to the Riverlands. Um, I think this and, is the beginning of the season. Yeah, but yeah, I was gonna say this must be the beginning of you know first first whatever yeah. the first episode we see her in this is it this is it yeah so this yeah. is before she no, I think she's gonna get back yeah she's gonna get north. back she's yeah she's yeah. gonna what do, what do you think about the you think there's two guys in the shot or just there just because that's she's, the shot or you think she's that in a they tavern I think she's just in a tavern or maybe they recognize her you think they that's recognize what I was her? gonna say uh, 
typically for the Riverlands and stuff like that, they use more yellow light, uh, based, like, against King's Landing, which is more, like, brighter white light, but this is a more yellowish-orange light, and up north it's blue light. Well, she's obviously still in the Riverlands based on the lighting. So, yeah. it, whether yeah. she's in a tavern or she's still in the phrase keep, which would be kind of stupid, it, yeah. it, it's kind of up for toss, but it looks I like think, a tavern based on the I table think, behind her. Yeah, I think they're in a tavern and they're watching the footy match on TV. <laughs> and they're and they're seeing that you know they're seeing you know <laughs> put that, your head the, down lady we can't see the game yeah you know you know like the, the their team's like down by like 10 or something and they're like oh no she's upset she, she's got some coin on this on this match Dang. anyway moving on dinklage <laughs> the dinkster the dinkmeister with his the dinkmeister fucking... <laughs> obviously with this the... is this is just this essentially a close up, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess that's probably just more for the wardrobe, you know. Obviously, he has this cool little, um, Stress. cool little, uh, queen of uh, uh queen hand, hand of the queen pin, yeah. and uh, yeah, I just think it's it's just a little close up of what he's wearing. Can what I, what will little Dinklage be wearing this fall? Can can I make it? Can I make a, a, a his sleeves? I mean, they look like this something like out of something out of the gap like wolf, or something. Like I mean, wolf. you zoom in, you can tell that they're 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 not. It's not a it's not a printed pattern. It's it's stitched in that that way. But it looks like it's something from like you know like yeah. Jay they Crew bought or like a, they bought a ten dollar shirt and they put it yeah. On the... You know what I'm saying? It look it's very interesting. How you know? Definitely. That's funny. That's funny. I thought that too. You know, because yeah. it doesn't. You know, it doesn't look. You know, his beard's looking pretty good though. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah his Damn. beard looks great. The Dinkmeister. Yep, can't he's get got, enough English. He, he's got the he's got the Hobbit wig on though, so that's good. God dang it! What does? And the fifteenth and last picture is a close up of Masande. Yeah. The beautiful Masande. Those, those damn eyebrows! Those are some cultivated eyebrows, man. This is like we said before, just with the previous image. This looks like this is the same, uh, just another side shot of yeah. of the group photo of all of them. But if you see on her right shoulder, she has a cool little dragon, little pendant thing there too. So yeah. everybody got their cool little wardrobe things, and that's really is, a, you know a big part of these. Each of them chasing themselves, or chasing yeah, them. chasing the tail or whatever. Right, it what is. does it signify as as part of her court? Is, is there some? Is that yeah. a, maybe? Like, yeah, she's the hand of the king or queen. And she's the she, you know, she's the linguist. She's the, the. I don't think there's a pendant for every seat of the council. But... Well, I'm asking, is this one of those though? I don't, it I could be, those. or it just could be something fancy that she wears on her. To uh, show her allegiance you know. to House Targaryen. Yeah. 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 It, it's a nice looking little brooch, definitely. They're gonna sell that. Who's gonna be selling that? Oh my god, everybody. I cast metal peeps are going to be selling those things. That's it. We'll get it in one of our loot crates. Probably. Oh, dude, that would be dope. So that's it, right? Is that all of them? That's all of the images. So hopefully we'll get some more before uh, July 16th. Yeah. But um, I'm sure we'll definitely get a a couple cool trailers, right? Some some video. That just do it. Yeah, yeah. We, We definitely should be getting some new images or something like that. All right. I guess that is going to do it. For Season 7 promo images for the Game of Thrones, the one and only Game of Thrones. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to be giving you guys, uh, very soon, we're going to be doing our favorite Game of Thrones episodes. So be on the lookout for that. And we really just want to thank you guys for watching this. And uh, as always, leave your comments down below. Leave your comments anywhere you want. You can, you know, tweet us or any, or get to us on Instagram at Third Person Pod. You know, check that out. You know, leave comments anywhere, anywhere you can for us. Just leave those comments. We'll get to them. We'll, you know, we can talk about. It. Tell us what you think about these images. You heard what Absolutely. we have to say. Now tell us what you, we want to hear. What you guys think? We, if you think we're completely wrong, you think we're off our rocker, or do you think <laughs> we're a bunch of uh, crazy, wacky dudes? But until then, thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you on the next Game of Thrones video that we pump on out for you guys. So that's it. Peace out. Later. Bye.